Get busy living or get busy dying. That's goddamn right. Time <laughs> to talk about. <laughs> oh yes, uh, fantastic! This is one of my favorite um, species, right? In Namibia, um, it's called kudu bush in common English. Uh, kudu bush, I think, in Afrikaans. Kudu bush in German. Um, other names, other Namibian ma names are available on request. <laughs> um, so why do we call it the kudu bush? Kudu love it. Yeah. This is like chocolate for them. Okay. And the sisters of this uh, species as well, other combretums, especially the combretum in Bebe. Yeah. Um, also chocolate, goats and um, uh, animals like that love it absolutely so it's very nice uh, also a, an excellent garden plant because it makes these very beautiful uh, yellowish flowers and it's got this autumn colored uh, fruit as well for winged for winged fruit for so winged. very very nice i think we have actually some i've spotted some uh, fruit or so yeah they're just they, upcoming they're still not ripe uh-huh but uh, they come yeah. yeah so the combretums are quite common in namibia there's again many species but this is one of them the commonly yeah. um, um uh, distributed ones and hardy very popular as a garden plant as well. it's actually called combretum apiculatum mm -hmm. because if you check the leaf is got this pointed so it's got an apiculate uh -huh. you know uh -huh. the, uh, uh, I think uh, one of the unfortunate things is that uh, it's not that readily available, um, especially in the nurseries. Uh, um, for uh, yeah. it's a, a lovely indigenous mm -hmm. plant, especially in the Vendup area. No, it is. And what I li like about this is it hasn't got any thorns, <laughs> so it's safe like for for children and so forth. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. But the unfortunate thing is then um, it's not that. Uh, readily available mm -hmm. in the nurseries. Mm -hmm. I think there is a myth that people don't like to buy indigenous. They don't want to buy indigenous. <laughs> sausages are dropping or everything. <laughs> it's raining sausages. <laughs> so, so the um, you know, people people have got this this wrong uh, view. You know that um, indigenous plants are difficult to grow. That's not true. It's just people have not tried them. Mm -hmm. yeah. In most cases, say they grow slow, and so that's not. I don't forget about that. If you see that, it's not. This, that's that's not a fact. Mm -hmm. It's a myth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We see a lot of Oh, all right, this one, this is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> this kudu bush is your favorite. <laughs> all right, <laughs> your favorite is this. This is my favorite. This one is called Quembea. That's my name. <laughs> A rotundi, it's called Dombea rotundifolia. So we normally call it Quembea rotundifolia. Okay. Um, it flowers somewhere around. Uh, uh, October. October. Then it, 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 when, when others are not flowering, it really makes a very good uh, show in the garden. It because the whole the flowers will all be all over. It's very generous and you know in, in its flowering and it's such an abundance of flowers on it. Because this round leaves and it's, it's quite you know a good a nice shade shade tree. It's, it's kind of a shrub because it's got all this it's multi stemmed. But it's, it's it's quite good. It's it's quite uh, you know, and um, I would say a neat, mm, a neat, a neat shrubby. Sh shrub mm -hmm. Not so neat. Not so neat. No, no. Okay. All right. Yeah. Also, one um, thing that I like about uh, this um, yeah. uh, is that uh, also once again it hasn't got any thorns. Okay. Yeah. So un unfortunately, um, most of them. Yako doesn't like any thorns. <laughs> yeah, no, I I just thinking out of a out of a safety perspective. Uh, oh, that's all right. Yeah. Um, mm. Is that uh, safety in terms for children for and sure. so forth? Um, okay. Unfortunately, mm. um, it's not an evergreen. So yeah. if you plant it in the garden, it's 
it's not a... It's going to mess you at yeah, some point. Yeah, and think that will be uh, <laughs> providing shade uh, sure. year-round and yeah. so, but uh, I mean the reward of the uh, nice amount of flowers and so forth, uh, I think one can be a, with, uh, with yeah. So it, um, <laughs> yeah. The other, the other thing is about like just talking about the thorns, thorns and um, and spikes and uh, prickles and all these uh, you know uh, organs that the plants have are normally also to protect the uh, the plant. Um, so plants don't necessarily have guns, but they've got thorns in them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. To, to, to wed off the, the yeah. uh, now that you actually do mention it just to add on to that um, for example the camel thorn tree yeah. um, uh, the younger ones or the new shoots yeah. have got actually no, more, thorns. Uh, more thorns and quite bigger thorns mm -hmm. because uh, the new growth is the part of the plants the animals who will eat uh, yeah. they they favor that yeah so that is where the planting realized but I, I need to protect myself more, uh, more mm. while the older branches then uh, have less thorns yeah. uh, to to protect to eat against the animals very very interesting so here's something else um okay. colleagues farmer's favorite every farmer's friend yeah. um this one is called Euclea undulata, mm. the common name mountain ebony. Mountain ebony. Mm -hmm. Okay, there are a couple of species in Namibia, but this one you find around the Vintuk area. Mm. Um, it's common or popular for two main reasons that I can think of at the moment. One, it's um, very nice traditionally as a toothbrush, yeah. so it's got some anti. Uh, microbial properties and it you know it works the mouth very well mm. so our ancestors would use this to solve that uh, the, the dental problems mm. the other thing that is also popular for is that it's very hardy and fire resistant Excellent. so if there's a f if there's a fire on a farm or so farmers would actually cut this and use it to hit or to sort of kill to the extinguish. fire mm. um, because it's fire resistant so it's it's, um, yeah, and and quite it, nice the other work. interesting thing, when you look at it, it looks so fine and so on. But if you if you if you try to feel the leaves, hey, they're tough. Yes. Come, you can come feel. Yeah, yeah. They are not as uh, yes. as innocent as they look. They look very innocent. <laughs> yeah. So looks are deceptive. Mm -hmm. That's the moral of the story. So sometimes you can the the leaves. It's called angulatum because the, the the margins of the leaves are wavy. That's angulate. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> Is anybody interested in glasses? Not mm -hmm. quite. So we are. We're assuming you don't love grasses, okay, but this is, this is, but a, this is a cute grass for the ladies the yeah. and for the gentlemen. You know, this is nice to pick and sort of yeah. um, flower it. You know, make it make a bunch. Flower of, and give it to know, so Valentine's Day. Yes, Valentine's like Day is coming up. Mm -hmm. This one is called Finger Ruthia. That's right. It's like a finger yeah. uh, because of finger its hood. nice finger yeah. hood, like mm -hmm. when the thimble that you use when you are uh, when you are sewing. Mm -hmm. So, uh -huh. so, it, so that's why it has yeah. got the same mm. It's got thimble grass. He's, 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 he's thimble. He's thimble. You know when you do sewing, you uh, uh, yes. but what's with it? You put the protecting. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. So, so, th so that's why it actually got its name from it. Finger, finger hood, hood. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, that uh, rubber. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If you turn pages uh, yeah. in the office, uh -huh. then uh, if you sew, it's a metal. Yes. Uh, but if you turn the pages, uh, the people that's a lot yeah, in the office have yeah. like a rubber uh, version just too easy turning the pages. Yeah. Mm. Hey, I'm seeing this guy is doing a nice guy here. It's graphite. Oh, the graphite, okay. We will. We will. Yes, I think. Uh, okay. This is usually the pink. Where are they? The Oxalis square here. Oxalis heaven. Okay. Mm, this is. Oh, this yeah, is they're yeah. here. They're, 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 they're flowering. It's just no longer becoming there. Yeah. They're losing their territory. But you can see. Here's a few Oxalis. In flower. 
Yeah, there's also flowers. something. We've got something flowering there, but it's a bit far. Mm -hmm. You know, this this one still. There's also a flower. This is this is called oxalis. Oxali desi, that's the family oxalis. This papyrescence, I think. Um, it, interesting thing, if you eat the, this one, you can eat. I give you permission. <laughs> Provided because it's written in your will. <laughs> test it. I want you to, to I want you to test it. To test and tell me. Yeah, that, that, the cool. Afrikaans name, the Afrikaans name of this is Siren. Siren. Yeah. Siren. Siren. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. a bit sour. It smells like sour. A bit sour. It's like this. Yeah, just I can, I, I, I can. It would have been dead by now if it was not. I wrote my will. I'm not doing my will. Yeah, come on. You want to test it? So, <laughs> so what you are testing there is called oxalic acid. Oxalic acid. So it's actually we, when we are tending the flock, when yeah, you can have, when we when we're looking after cattle, you would, would eat that. Get some more. Get some more. Some more. No, no, no. Have the leaf. 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 This one. You can, can have this. Okay. Let's pick pull that. Okay. Excellent. Strange uh, smell, uh, taste. Mm. But yeah, it's so I like it. <laughs> you like it? Mm. So it's uh, so it's uh, <laughs> and they, they have a <laughs> interestingly. <laughs> Yeah. They're, they're interesting. They've, they've got them. <laughs> how, how are you managing to do? He puts the, the leaf on his tongue and he's able to make a really interesting whistle sound. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. I didn't, I didn't know about that one. That's a new thing I've learned. <laughs> so so under, underneath, under these small plants, they, there's, a, there's a bulb. There's a bulb. So, so what, what happens, they always grow here, but you, when you come during the dry season, mm -hmm. there is nothing here, mm -hmm. but they are hiding. So that they, they, they've got this perinating organ that mm -hmm. continues under. Mm -hmm. And so it grows everywhere? Yeah. I think I've seen it at my house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They grow, if you dig it, if you're gonna, you notice it's nice little, it's actually a bulb, which is interesting. You know. they, they, I just have to mention that the, these were the bigger leaves and the, the indigenous one has got pink flowers and you can see they, they up front is the pinkish, mm. pinkish purplish flowers. There are quite a number of species. Yeah, mm. um, there is the exotic invasive ones no. where the, the flowers is uh, smaller um, and the, le the, uh, the leaves are smaller mm. um, and the flowers is uh, yellow.